Pupunta tayo ngayon sa Kusai School Springs sa Haro. Join us today as we visit Hagusai Cold Spring here in Haro Leyte. The Cold Spring is located in Barangay Kanhandugan, Haro Leyte. We heard na yung tubig dito is really cool and refreshing. That's why we have decided to visit today to try it out. If you notice, the roads are fine, pero dadan talaga kayo sa mga kabukiran, maraming puno, at parang nasa kabundukan. We finally arrived, and good thing they have uh, space for parking. And na surprise ako na sobrang dami na kapark ngayon, so I think paraming tao. So nandito na tayo sa Hagusa is Cold Spring. Ayan. Welcome to Hagusa is. Medyo liblib siya kaya nakailang wrong term, wrong turn kami. But we finally arrived. Ngayon maglalakad out tayo ng medyo ilang minutes bago makarating sa spring. Ten to fifteen minutes pala ang lalakarin. Dependehin ka lakad. So may reminder dito. So maglalakad na tayo. Tara. I think it's very important yung reminder na yan dyan sa entrance. Especially you will be walking ten to fifteen minutes and medyo steep yung dan kasi pabundok siya. So if you have asthma, heart problem, high blood pressure, you're a person with disability, or you're a senior citizen and you're pregnant, um, you may come here, but please uh, get someone to assist you, I think. You can still go here, medyo dahan-dahan lang yung paglalakad, because if you notice, medyo paakyat talaga yung dahan. So same as us, we're healthy, but we have to put some gaps dun sa paglalakad. We have to pause along the way. But the good thing is, uh, relaxing naman yung view, nature siya. So you would not feel tired, especially if you have company. But yun lang, if you ha if, make sure you're physically fit and healthy when you come here. Nevertheless, the trail going up to the Cold Spring is really nice. If you're someone who likes adventures like this uh, and appreciate nature, and go ahead and come visit. So the entrance fee is only 25 pesos per head and the cold spring is open from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. only. When we visited, they're doing some kind of construction here. Parang nagtatay sila ng pond and nagbibuild din sila ng parang receiving area na bago. And I'm not sure if they're building an accommodation here kasi parang masarap mag-overnight dito. May mga matindahan naman dito if you want to buy snacks or drinks. Madaming tao ngayon kasi Sabado. Grabe, punong-puno. Madaming tao. <laughs> We did not expect the amount of people that are here right now. Sab kasi nga Sabado weekend tapos medyo mainit talaga yung panahon. And I know most people prefer yung gantong klase ng pool na continuously blowing rather than the traditional swimming pool. Kasi naturally malamig yung tubig and galing talaga siya sa bundok. So fresh and water. So, doon yung malaking pool. Dito nang gagaling yung tubig. From here. Hindi na ng tubig. Pili lang kami ng chicharya dito sa tindahan. Wala kasi may dalang pulutan. Nakapagdala kasi kami ng tuba na inumin namin dito. 
Yes, you can bring your own drinks, pero they charge a core KHP ranging from 50 to 200 pesos depending on the volume. Wala naman problema sa food, you can bring your own food because they don't have their own restaurant yet and there's no core cage for bringing food inside. Nagpaparent din sila ng mga tables and chairs uh, around 250 pesos and then cottages ranging from 300 to 600 pesos. At dahil nga sobrang daming tao when we visited, hindi na kami nakapag-rent ng cottage kahit la mesa so naghanap na lang kami ng spot na malapit sa swimming place. Um, para lang ibabay ang mga gamit at uh, makaupo. So other things you can find here, may mga mini tindahan, may PISU Wi-Fi. So you still have the chance to connect and update your social media kahit walang signal. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like this video. Please also subscribe so you can follow along with my journey. So please also turn on that notification bell so you can get notified on my new videos. Thank you. If you notice kung saan ako nagsuswimming, medyo dark yung tubig. But it's not really dark, clear pa rin siya. But you won't see yung ilalim kasi malalim na tong part na to. Actually, lampas tao na dito. Kaya if you're bringing kids, make sure you attend to them 100% of the time just in case makunta din sila dito sa malayan. Sa mga ganitong outing, always still prioritize safety. Dito na side, medyo mababaw pa yung cold spring. So, if magpapansin nyo, malinaw siya at makikita nyo yung ilalim. You will see the stones dun sa ilalim ng tubig kasi malinaw at fresh talaga yung water. Hindi na kami nag-rent ng cottage. Ito lang kami mong pumalapit sa chat. Paliguan. Again, I'm back. Time. So we're done swimming, and this wraps our day here in Agusais Cold Spring here in Haro Leyte. So, it's already 4 p.m. and this uh, Cold Spring Resort is only open until 5. Ito, pababa na kami ng bundok. Hindi mo siya super bundok. Pero it's, uh, it's quite a climb. So, we're going back. Thank you for watching.